true psychopath. When you're lost, take your trust. That's me. That's so sick. I'm a fraud. I'm a fraud. Call me a liar. A true Hello, 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 welcome in. How's it going, everyone? It's Wednesday, we're halfway through the week. Let's crack on with some painting, shall we? Uh, we're gonna dive straight in. I, I, I wanna get this model done, and then potentially we've got other models. Uh, they're currently drawing it, though, I just gave them a little bit of spray. Uh, so, hopefully, by the time we finish this, they'll be ready. So that's what we're gonna do. There we go. So this is the Coalition Heavy Machine Gun Turret that we started the other day. Um, because we finished the dock and it's basically just shading and weathering in details now. Uh, that's the plan, anyway. So, that's what we're going to do. I need my palette, I need my tissue paper, or kitchen roll, whatever. Uh, and we're going to go in with um, Rattling Grime straight away. Strange starting a stream of Rattling Grime. What a world we live in. Bell! Pillow! What up? What up? What up? I noticed the t You noticed the time. I'm about to do rollout. I feel like I'm about to do rollout. I feel like rollouts are uh, rolling this way. There we go. There we go. Am I rolling out? I kind of feel like I need to do roll up. Poor thing. I bring it on myself, Belle. I bring it on myself. <gasps> Let's roll! God, my room is... Just, just, the, just the mess. It's encroaching from the corner. It's slowly building out. Okay. So that. Do that. So Four. 
There you go, there's your 25. Starting off the stream. Hey, Rhett, how's it going? Gently down the floor. Merrily, 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 merrily. Ow, my stomach muscles. Merrily, <laughs> baby. It's an okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. It is. It's fine. Hi. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Merrily, 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 merrily. Ouch, my abs are sore. Nice. My stupid phone? What's wrong with my phone? Oh, why is this fucking mouse always dying? What the shit? Connections, a little dodgy. There we go. Sorted. Not moan. Your, what? Huh? Oh, your phone. Right, okay, gotcha. Um, okay, I'm gonna hit go live on. I'm just gonna get my breath back for a second. Just letting it. Letting what? What's, what's going on, Red? What's happening, mate? What's wrong? What's going on? Right. Go live on TikTok. Uh, auto screenshot, that's fine. Topic. Oh, hang on, I need to do topic. Gaming? There's no art topic. Warhammer. Screw it. There we go. Paint shot models. Yeah, cool. Go live. Rex phone is shit. Oh, really? My phone do be, do be making me look the stupid. I, I can't help you there, buddy. I can't help you there. Alright, we need... I need my wash brush. There we go, that's the one. And we're gonna pr pretty much wash everything, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Payday? God, I missed the concept of a payday. I don't have a payday. I suppose, like, Twitch payout is a payday. I guess that counts. I guess. Maybe. Possibly. Who knows? Who knows? Bailey knows. Yeah, he does. Look at those ears. Why? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright, we've got rat. Oh, crap. I need to order some more rat and grind. That's, that's a sorry state of affairs. Got the phone in focus. Specifically, Space Janitor time. Yes, sorry. I will have a look tonight. I haven't had a chance yet. I'll have a look tonight for you. So we do a little bit of a coat, sometimes we water it down, sometimes we don't, depending on which part we're working on. Working with a, a damp brush. And then going in, sometimes with the finger, sometimes with the damp brush over the top. If you don't want, oh, I want to take your money. I'll, I'll, I'll take your money. Don't worry. <laughs> don't, right? Don't you worry. I'll take your money. Uh, Big Spence, huge fan. Love the videos, man. Thank you very much, Big Spence. How are you doing today? I hope you're well. Much appreciated. If you want to see more longer form videos, head over to the YouTube. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And watch my TikTok algorithm go to shit. 
Sorry, go down the toilet. Oh, I love that technique. So quick! So effective! Finger... Finger dabbing grime. That probably shouldn't be said out loud on the internet. When you see the files, you'll understand why I'm excited. Oh, really? Okay. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I've got some pre-support. I've got. I, I've got a kind of like semi. Well, I guess no regular, regular pre-supporting job uh, or gig, which is quite exciting. So I'm doing that at the moment. I, I started doing that this morning um, for a Patreon. And the first files came through last night. I'm like, ooh, cool. Okay. Experience trying to get better at painting space walls. I will subscribe to your YouTube for more. Thank you very much. I will bear that in mind. And so I've got a video that I'm going to be doing tomorrow and hopefully uploading tomorrow or on Friday. Why don't I have music? Oh, hang on. Why have I frozen? That's not cool. Right, bro. Uh. Okay. Did Twitch just die? Nope, 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 okay. I thought my internet died. I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're good. Um, yeah, I have a, a video about Ultramarines that I'm doing tomorrow. Sorry, right, my... The, my uh, browser just stopped. I think it was my browser. Uh, yeah, I'm doing the Ultramarine one tomorrow, but I will bear in mind. Space Wolves. Okay, I can do Space Wolves. I can do a little Space Wolves tutorial. Oh, thank you, Pillow. Snazzy, cheeky con contrast trick you showed on TikTok and Insta. Which one? Oh, what? The, the, um, the, hang on, where is it? <laughs> this guy. Yeah, I'm basically going to do another version of this and paint it all the way through. Oh, the edging. Yes, yes, I'll be, I'll be touching on that as well. I'm really happy with how this this guy's armor turned out. Uh, but I'll be basically doing this again with a model that is in there. Uh, and I'd quite like to do the um, like the main chapters, I guess, like Ultramarines, Space Balls, Blood Angels, Dark Angels, um, in this style. And I'll do a new, uh, like a different video for each. Space Marine, yes. Going to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space! And the crowd goes wild. Yeah, damn right. Damn right. So, yeah, Big Spence. Yeah, this will be... Um, this will be one video that I'll be putting up. Uh, I'll be doing that tomorrow. I don't know whether it will go live tomorrow or maybe Friday. Um, I want to do at least one video a week. At least. But I will do a, a Space Wolf version of this. So this was painted, that blue was just two colours. Two, sorry, two paints. Um, and the gold, I think, was just two paints as well. So there's only five, six, six, six including the eyes, seven including the metal there. Uh, seven paints on this model. So, uh, yes, I will do Ultramarines, I'll do Space Wolves, I'll do Blood Angels, Dark Angels. Um, we'll figure out some other ones as well. We'll figure out some other ones. Selling Marines in store now. No. No. I do not have a GW account. That would be hilarious. Hi, Berserk. When you get to Blood Angels, I'll try it on the model as well. Yes, do it. Absolutely. Keep, keep eye out. Yay! Cool. Awesome. Thanks, big fan. Yeah, I, I wanna, I wanna push the YouTube channel. 
That's the that's the plan is to really start pushing the YouTube content. I I have a I have an action plan now. I'm such a fickle human though as I bounce between three chapters. Dude, I bounce between like complete whole armies and, and game systems. You did Carcharodons, Car that's the main chapter. Yeah, 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 I'll do a video on Carcharodons. And then die. Ugh. Black Templars, yeah, I need to do Black Templars as well. Black Templars is a, is a more interesting one for, well, I don't know. I don't know whether it would work well for this technique, or it would work, but I don't know whether it would really um, show off the technique. Salamanders, maybe? The subtlety between Dark Angels and Salamanders. I wonder if there's a cheeky way to use Black Templars. I'm sure there is. I mean, you'd look at... The, it, would, it would be showcasing the difference between Black Templar and Black Legion, really. With a prime white dry brush metal, maybe then Black Legion. Oh, with a metallic on base? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Um, I'll also be going through um, like the tutorials, the painting tutorials that I'll be doing. They'll be um, using not just GW models, but the uh, models from the store. And I've been putting together and assembling uh, an absolute load of D&D models, like classic D&D models, um, that will be available in the store very soon. Um, so that's very exciting. And also, then I'm going to be start playing with the with dragons, and I've got a whole like five five e uh, model collection that will be going up on the website. I need to actually buy some more black spray to move us out. Use metallic as the highlight to showcase the black and stop being stop and being stopped. Ah, uh, there, stop. Be being so flat looking. Oh, I, I see. Wait. Without having to go into greys. That's true. I could use grim black as well because that's quite that's quite light from speed paint, possibly. That could work. Right, I'm just gonna film the front part of this shield. Yeah, the black the black one would be uh, difficult. Oh, I could do um, uh, Imperial Fist as well with a yellow. That could be that that could be quite fun. But then, yeah, uh, start spending some time on D and D minis and uh, some mech suits as well. You test it, then I might paint my Black Templar box from two years ago. Do it! What, the combat patrol? Question, how are you going to show off the differences between Iron Hands, Black Templars, and Raven Guard? Uh, carefully. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not going to do a video for every chapter. I mean, it's going to be the main ones, essentially. Mercenary Love, that's an interesting Imperial Guardsman I have right now. Uh, right there. Well, technically, technically. It's not Imperial Guardsman. However, it could be very easily proxied for it. Uh, this is the Coalition Heavy Machine Gun Turret uh, that is available on my web store. And I'm currently painting up a model, uh, each model from my web store. Yeah, I think I think with like things like Iron Hand, Black Templars, and Raven Guard, I could I could do a video, but. It would pretty much be the same video, just with slight different, slight variations, and that's not showing off the techniques. So, but yeah, then I'll also look at you know I'll do an Imperial uh, like Acadian Guardsman. I'll do um, some Eldar, some Dark Eldar. Sorry, Eldari, Drukari, that kind of thing. Cool, looks really unique and detailed. Yeah, they're really really nice. So this came from uh, a 
a collection called the Vesper Project, and there's a load of infantry, there's some mechs as well. You can check out some of them. I've only just started painting them, so I think there's only three on the website, including this. Oh no, four, including the mech dogs. Uh, they're all under the Vesper Project, or if you just find like the sci-fi section on my website, alchemistmodels.com, there's a link in my bio. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm currently going through and painting these. Okay, let me just paint, like, let me just video this bit. Okay, we're just putting Rattling Grime onto the shield in downward strokes. And then to stop it being so streaky, we're going to go in with the damp brush and start mopping up some of it. I'm okay with it being a little patchy because that's kind of my style, I like, I like the patchiness. And then on the edges, I'm going to just dab my finger in there and get those highlights in. So you can see the before and after there, it's quite subtle. There go. Hey Squeezel, how's it going? Welcome in. Three, two, one, let's jam. Grey Knight Lord. Good morning, Imperial Citizen. Oh, is it treat time? Yay! <laughs> you are being visited by the Inquisition. Anything to confess? Uh, I like cookies. Come at me, Inquisitor. Your Emperor has got nothing on a good double chocolate chip. Okay, there we go, downward strokes, get those streaks in there, and then go in with a damp brush and start stippling off those excess bits. Before it dries, and then... There we go. The Emperor and the, and the Inquisition approve of your cookie choice. Excellent work. Thank you. Thank you. I will continue doing the uh, the Emperor's work. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Squeezel, how are you? Uh, right, we need to do a little... No, I think that's shaded enough, actually. So we need to do just do the shading on the body here. And um, we will film that as well. going to do this section for filming purposes. I'm going to brush a little bit so it's not going on too thickly. will not shut up about it and I, 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 I refuse to apologize so deal with it internet deal with it deal with my grimy obsession oh bell bell are you still there So I'm going to be off early today as so I've got to get a bunch done before heading to Wolverhampton for the weekend. Ooh, what are you doing in Wolverhampton? We need a little holiday. Uh, viewers on TikTok. Hello. Are you there? Um, I need opinions. Do you prefer the horizontal or... Sorry. The landscape or portrait uh, view for TikTok Live? Trying to get feedback. Uh, Dialan, hey Dialan, 
Hi, I think you're applying the wash a bit too thick. Wow. Okay. Okay, Dylan. I'm applying it thick. That's part of the point. You with your valid opinions. How you doing, Dylan? Welcome in. Always, always a pleasure to have you. Redeem that space rock. Ah, uh, we've got an annoying... Alright, we're going to cover that up with some battle damage. Okay. I like thick though. Yeah, you do. Oh, not that kind of thick. Okay, sorry. 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 I like the 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 thick wash with the grim dart look. Um, I'm gonna change the color on some of the bullets there. <laughs> Berserk headed there for a baby. Oh yeah, baby metal. Of course, of course. Oh man, enjoy, it's gonna be sick. Um, okay. So, what after this? We need to... That needs to dry. I will do the rim of the base while we're waiting? Yeah, sure, why not? In more ways than one, Right. In more ways than one. I'm gonna try something. I think an issue with the TikTok studio, it's cool to- Oh, I can't change it while I'm live. That sucks. Okay, I might change that later then. Um, I don't think people are a fan of the horizontal uh, setup, which is fair. Which is annoying because it means like the, the, the camera is smaller, but oh well. Okay, so we're gonna go in with not that brush, a bigger brush, this brush. to the dentist this morning but not it's not quite right so you have to go back again it's it's not what's not quite right as in your appointment your teeth your dentist what 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 ails you Dylan? what ails you absolutely right i can't say it because i'm live on tiktok i can't say those words I can't say the dirty words i'm sorry i'm sorry tiktok That's the first coat. We'll go in with the second coat to get it a nice solid shade. What are you working on at the moment, Dylan? What projects? Are you commissioning at the moment or are you just kind of painting for paint, uh, painting for fun? Hi, 40k miniature. Hi, Johnny5. Johnny5 is alive. I don't apologize. It's a great film. A little bit more out of line on this. Ooh, don't punch the camera. Uh, where does I think this is? Oh, yeah, here. God, does anyone remember Johnny Five? The film? What a throwback. Yes, yes, grim, dark, and 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 grimy, and wastelandy, fooly, outy type thing. Cool. Johnny Five is alive. Ugh. Oh. Hits me right in the feels. So we can make all this, um, the 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 those puns, and I can't say them. It's not. Yeah, it is eating my soul. It is. It is eating my soul. Bell, 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 bell. So, 
guess who's talking to Brannigan last night about the con uh, concept or the idea of going oh lots of noises all right I'll, I'll wait I'll wait for you Bell. I'll wait for you the defib battery charger oh god ah oh, oh. such such emotion was not meant to be felt by humans <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, no, no, that's not ideal at all, Dialan. Okay, yes, hey, Bell. Uh, guess who was talking to Bran last night about the possibility of going to SMC to, uh, next year? And making it, making it a little holiday. Right? What do you mean you know? How do you know? Oh, uh, was he talking about it on um, the the dark tide? Coming to the beautiful ne Netherlands. That's the that's the plan. But <gasps> yes, Thailand, of course. Uh, yeah, that's the plan. I'd really like I really like to go to SMC uh, next year, next October, because uh, I heard wonderful things, and I was looking at flights and, and airbnbs and things like that and it's looking like it could be possible it, lo it looks like it's affordable uh which is very very nice so me and bran might be uh taking a trip we talked about a road trip i talked about the road trip like that's an idea but then i looked up flights like if you book flights way ahead of time and I'm thinking the plan is to actually fly out to Amsterdam, get an Airbnb there, because I've never been to Amsterdam, I can't remember. Uh, fly out to Amsterdam, and then the train from Amsterdam to Eindhoven is only like an hour for like 20 euros. So just stay in Amsterdam and then just train it to Eindhoven. Flying is way cheaper. It depends, Dylan, because my car is very fuel efficient. But yes, it is. it's looking like it might be. Had the advice to book a plane three months prior to the event. I'm I'm gonna book it way, way in advance. So yeah, assuming assuming things go uh, well, um, definitely I I would really like to go to SMC. I want to go to more events anyway, but um, uh, I'd very much like to go to SMC. Right, okay. Uh, this isn't going to take too long, to be honest. So, we're going to go in with... We're going to do some weathering. You should just appear at one of the events. Do it. You should. We're going to go on a personal personal level then. Yeah, no, I'm not going to I'm not gonna get a booth at SMC. That would be cool at some point. But I've got events in the UK that I want to um, do a booth for first. Uh, like salute, I really want a booth for. I need to contact them. I'm not going to drop them an email tomorrow, actually. Um, yeah, I'd like a, I'd like a, a stand at salute next year, assuming it's affordable. Think about a car as you can go past all the kind of city, cities and just stop somewhere. Yeah, it's true. That's true. But also, like, it, it would be. Like from where I live, it's about a 10 hour journey to Eindhoven. So it's totally doable. It's totally doable. But it does mean that like that's 10 hours of driving and then I'd be absolutely knackered for a little bit. So maybe flying is better. I know you don't like Amsterdam. I want to go though. I want to go to I want to go to Amsterdam. Alki at Warhammer Fest confirmed. Uh, not if it was like last year. Like, I, I, I enjoyed Warhammer, well, no, 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 sorry. I enjoyed seeing people at Warhammer Fest. The event, I mean, we've spoken about the event. The event, the event was not great. Um, and I'd much rather go to other events. Yeah, I, I can imagine if you live in, lived in Amsterdam. By like, living in a place, uh, I just I just want to visit it. Oh, meant as a booth? 
me like having a booth at uh, Warhammer Fest, that'd be hilarious. They'd hate me. Some great art museums. Yeah, I just like I'd, I'd like to just go and visit and have a walk around. Uh, I'm not gonna be there for long. Um, all right. Okay. Let's just a bit. Okay. All right. So I'm just angling the filming camera. Okay, right. So I want the front of this shield to be quite heavily damaged. Why don't you like Amsterdam, Bell? Is there a particular reason? I've been to I've been to the Louvre. The Louvre is great, but the Louvre is like overwhelmingly big. Mr. to penises. <laughs> Is that all that Amsterdam has to offer? I feel like it probably has more to offer than that. <laughs> there, there are, though. There are. Uh, let's go there. You've got to go to Paris. That will... Oh, hello. What was that? Hey! Thank you very much for the follow. I completely forgot that that was a whole... That was a, a thing with the whole doorbell follow thing. Very confusing. Thank you for the follow. Oh, so it wasn't anything in particular, Bell. Okay. I don't know whether they had like a bad experience or anything. Right, let's just film this. Okay, so there's obviously going to be less damage around the back. Oh, hello. Who was that? Uh, Flamanawa? hour 92. I killed that name. I'm sorry. I butchered it. Uh, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in. How's it going? Completely butchered that name. I'm very, very sorry. Global, hey, how's it going? Oh, uh, what, what's up with the what's up with the airport, right? Because that that's kind of important because that's probably how I'm getting. There. Uh, 
The other option is the Eurostar, so uh, that, that's that's always a possibility. Right, we're gonna do some little bit of weathering around the helmet and the armor. Global, Doc looks great painted on the website out. Thanks, Global, thank you. I am slowly making my way through the entire collection. I've almost, I'm about, uh, I wouldn't say, I'm, I'm about halfway through the po post-apocalyptic stuff. Halfway through painting all of it, which is a nice sign. I'd like to, I'd like to like, finish a collection. That'll be a, that'll be a, big, a big tick. Oh, it's understand. Oh, okay, that's not a problem. That's a problem. Belial Spain! Hey, how's it going? Welcome in. Okay. I think a lot of airports were kind of understandably, you know, messed up from, from after COVID. I'm not going to hold that against anyone. Okay, so uh, we're going to use charred brown now and do the, the the kind of rust effect. Any special assistance travel? So, oh, uh, okay. Oh, that sucks, darling. That sucks. You got the Eurostar and Eurofighter confused? <laughs> Hilarious. Brilliant, brilliant. Oh, that sucks, Thailand. Yeah, that's that's awful. Well, hopefully, you know, future experiences won't be like that. Uh, right, Charles Brown. I need to film this bit as well. Merlin! Hey, Merlin. Thank you for the hydrate. How was it fun? Ha ha sorry, how was it fun? How was it? Was it fun? It was fun. Good. Yay, English. Yeah, sorry I couldn't make it. I was kind of sort of, uh, I, I had auditions all, all day, or kind of audition workshops, and then I got back, and yeah, I'm kind of sharing my, my space in the evenings at the moment, so I couldn't really jump on and do game but I'm absolutely up for it at, at, at another time because I've never played it and I would like to play it uh, so I finished watching Blue Eye Samurai for the second time around it was great if you haven't watched it Dear God, watch it. So goddamn good. If you like sa like traditional samurai revenge stories, watch Blue Eye Samurai. Also, I think. Uh, yeah, but that's kind of just the, some of the deal with flying rare, right, isn't it? It's it's rarely convenient. The experience of being handicapped is that the Netherlands is quite good, what is still awful, and most other countries just don't take handicap into consideration whatsoever. That sucks. I, yeah, I suppose it depends on the, the country and their, their um, reactions. To the, well, no, reaction is the right word. It's just not necessarily the right word in this um, 
uh, this instance. I thoroughly enjoyed the conversation you had with yourself. Thanks. Me too. I had a great time. Both of me. Okay, so... A little bit. Difficulty with Xbox launch platform on PC. So the first hour and 45 with three of us are brand narrated. Oh, really? So it was brand playing on Xbox and kind of calling in via. Were you doing a Discord? Because I could get it through the Game Pass on PC, but I'd much rather play on the Xbox. Private guide and taxi on the airport? Bam! Look at you with the treatment. Okay. I feel like that's... That's okay weathering? Weathering wise? What do we think? Might add a little bit of rust in there as well. Two kilometer run straight off the flight. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's not fun. Um, okay, where. What are we going to use to rust effect? Oh, I've got a rust effect. I've got the Green Stuff World rust effect. Is that the rust that I used, though? No, that's not the, use, that's not the rust I've used before. We've got this intense. Or oh, ink tense oxide from ink intensity scale 75. So we're going to give that a go. Use, use less central heating. Is it the first time you've turned it on now? Hey Spotius, first time in 12 months, finally fixed. God damn Merlin, that's that is Yeah. That's no fun. I'm glad you finally got it fixed, buddy.
go. I really like this rust effect. This, this, it's not really, it's, it's neat, it's not really an effect. I quite like that. Seventeen is getting towards cold. Oh no, yeah, no, seventeen. Seventeen is is, is cold. I'd say seventeen is cold. Is there any wonder as a static double glazing was finished this month? Oh my god, you're gonna be so toasty comparatively. So toasty. Right, I need to put some uh what do I wanna do? Nastro yellow for the bullet casing? Yeah. 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 Okay, let's do the white on the um on the visor though. Uh, nice brush. Nice brush. There's the nice brush. Okay. 24 is warm? Yes, I agree. I agree. I think me and Spotty agree on temperature and what is acceptable. I very much prefer warmer climates. 17 is warm enough? Merlin, I cannot do it. I mean... Yeah, if you're if you've been living in like 13 degrees, then yeah, 17's toasty. But 17 to me, well, no, no. I'm happy with like 21, 2021. 20, Um, Spotify wrapped it out? Spotify wrapped it out? Hey, cat. What do you mean Spotify wrapped it out? Uh, Wargaming win. What are we working on? So this is the Coalition Heavy Machine Gun Turret uh, that is available on my website. I'm just painting up a, uh, a, a, well, a painted version for it, so I've got a product photo rather than a render. Uh, at the moment, the render's on the website. Uh, I want to sort this out. Have to check out the site? Yeah, absolutely. It's in the, it's in my bio uh, or just alchemistmodels.com. Um, and yeah, I'm slowly painting up all of the miniatures on there, which is going to take a while. Um, and, and just kind of reorganizing it and resorting it out and making it look a little nicer. Happy with 2120. Cat, what are you talking about? I'm so confused. It is a really nice model. There's some, it's a really good range as well. It's called the Vesper Project. Um, and have we got more? I've got some. Hang on, bear with me. I painted up a couple of a couple of examples from the Vespa project. I'm also painting a post-apocalyptic range uh, and doing them with the same bases. So there's uh, one of the Coalition medics at the moment. I didn't realise there's actually three variants of this, so I might paint up another one into a pack. Uh, at the moment, he's available as an individual model. Uh, so we've got those, and then we've got these three little kind of mech dogs, which are a lot of fun. I really enjoy these. They come as a little squad, and I think that's it for the... Oh no, I've got the big ass... Hold on. The really fun thing... I might have to zoom out on this one. It's probably one of the favorite model, my favorite models on. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. So this is the Colossus. And it's very similar to like a towel battle suit with a giant chain gun. I love this thing, and that's a. What is it? It's like a 75 mil base. It's huge, like compared to a standard infantry. 
it's massive and I love it so yeah all, all of that all of those are available on my website at the moment it's really strange when Alchemist makes good points I know right So it's that and the post-apocalyptic range that I'm currently painting up. Uh, there's uh, also these kind of little drones. These are from the same range as well. Mead one is a towel player. That's epic. Yeah, right. It's very armored core. Yes, it's very armored core. Um, tiny little drones. Uh, actually, no, this is Vesper as well. So it's a little unicycle, like a drone unicycle. Which is a lot of fun and then we've start, the, these kind of remind me of ghost in the shell so yeah there's there's loads as well there's loads coming there's tanks there's flyers it's a massive range and i will be painting one up of each or a unit of each uh do you think i'll play these what as in in a game i mean yeah i can always put i can always use them for um uh for one page rules no reason why not like oh froze oh no well, welcome back welcome back but yes there's there's uh well just in case you missed it there you go. There's the unicycle. And we've got the kind of Ghost in the Shell-esque drone. There's, there's a couple of um, variants of this as well. There's, there's a cannon one and I can't remember what the other one is off the top of my head. I can't remember. But yeah, I'll be, I'll be working on all those. You ordered too much Lorcana? Are you enjoying it though? I wouldn't mind giving it a go. Uh, but for now, we are working on... This is pretty much done. I just need to do the visor colour. I'm happy with the weathering. Yeah. It's kind of... It, it, this is very wasteland. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. You have two starter decks you don't need? Which ones? Oh, what colour did I use for the... I think it was magic blue. Was it magic blue? I'm trying to remember the colour that I used for the visor. Yes, that was magic blue. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, and, and check out the website. I'm, I'm always um, adding more and more things to it. I'll be. Uh, I'm going to start doing uh, tutorials as well on YouTube for some of these models. Uh, the two new Floodborne ones. I have no idea what that is. Lorcana is the Disney, the Disney um, card game, right? I haven't got that wrong. Uh, should I film this? I, sh I feel like I should film this. Hang on. of tufts and then that is done uh, which is this? why why does spot yes want proof that you're a human it is oh, okay cool, cool, cool. Uh, right. blue tweezers
all that. It's kind of got quite a lot of vegetation in anyway, so. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Um, okay. There, there. Miss Danny, I know. I know. Danny's, Danny's, Danny's living life at the moment. I miss Danny as well. Uh, right, okay, there we go. That is the uh, the heavy machine gun turret done, I want to say. Yeah, yeah, I'd say that's done. And ready for the uh, product photo. Which is lovely. Cool, right. Um, have a dog. I'm going to go and find the models that I've been working on. Uh, Bailey Pack, there we go. Have a dog. So we've got four models, um, four models that I sprayed up earlier. I need to touch up the skin detail first. So we'll put that to one side. Turret. You missed the demon. The demon's probably at work today. Though. Uh, so these are the post-apocalyptic models. Some of them. Uh, we've got the mechanic here. Um, some of you might remember me actually painting this, but at like 6mm scale or 8mm scale for the watch diorama. I did a tiny, tiny version of this guy. Uh, then we've got the droid hunter, the droid bounty hunter, which is kind of fun. And because he's got like a, a droid-esque face, and it's kind of similar to Cade from Destiny, I might, I might copy the Cade face for that. That could be fun. We've got a mercenary here with a little Uzi. And all the ammo pouches. And we've got, very cool, uh, a kind of mutated sheriff. Uh, and the face is quite similar to, um, uh, I want to say Valentine from Fallout. Uh, but we're going to go in with some white first of all. give it a, uh, a solid base coat for the skin. Lots of texture on this skin as well, we can kind of mutate the skin. We can have some fun with some nice tones in that. Sleeve there. Antiv! Antiv redeeming the rollout. Do you want rollout or crab? Le crab? You want crabs? Okay, okay. Oh, is it a Mac 10, not a new? Alki, okay, you interested in the starter decks? Perhaps some store credit could be arranged. I'm kind of interested, but also it would just be added to the other things that I... Like, the other games I just don't have time to play, or don't have anyone to play with, so... I'm all good, buddy, thank you. It will, they will, I, they would appear and then sit in a, sh uh, sit in a, um, uh, in a drawer, probably never getting played with. Uh, right, okay. Spolius, thank you very much for the look. Uh, you want crab crab squats, yeah? Crab squats? Alright, we can do that. <gasps> I love it. Spotty says they're gonna lurk. Hedgehog turns up. No, you're not. Okay. Redeem exercise. I might just change it to, like, redeem exercise instead of rollout. Here we go. Alright. We've got the crab hat on. This doesn't make sense to anyone who is just new and has, has no idea what's happening. Put crab hat on, 
We assume the position, the pincers are up, and we squat. Hey Hog, how's it going? How are you feeling? Are you feeling better? Are those gloves? He is wearing gloves. Yes. Still, you're still down? You're still down and out? God damn, dude. Now I'm really glad I didn't come up. <laughs> well, hopefully it doesn't take you out for too much longer. Are you like properly down and out off work or is it just kind of a little rel relentless? Nah, you can't really tell that they're gloves, so I'm not even convinced they are. Uh, okay, you don't actually have any flesh, but you do. Just mildly ill. Yeah, mildly ill is the worst. Like, if if you're if you're properly sick, then you can justify just chilling on the sofa under a blanket and just sleeping it off. If it's mildly, then yeah, that's just irritating. skin tones before we go in with the, um, the contrast and the speed paint because we've got this texture left over from the, the spray paint which I, I like I usually like working with this but only on clothes and metals and things like that it doesn't work for skin can't get away with claiming too ill to work but also can't gym pro Ugh, the worst the worst how did yesterday go? Was it a good Tuesday? Yes, it was a good Tuesday. Thank you. Yeah, it went really well. Really, really well. Um, there was some. It was. It was kind of less auditions and more kind of audition workshops because we don't do the whole um, getting people to come in and learn, like you know, learn monologue and do the monologue in front of us. It's. It's. We find that it doesn't always give everyone a good chance to showcase what they do uh, and it doesn't give us enough time to work with them and direct them a little bit and see how they take direction but um, so yeah it was, it was a workshop we basically just played with puppets for a while uh, it was great but very informative as well Okay, 
a little bit. Skin tone there. TikTok, end the live there, and I'm going to reformat it and see if it makes a difference doing it portrait mode. We'll see if that makes a difference. Which one should we paint, guys? I'm, I'm, I'm easy. Uh, topic. Gaming. Warhammer. I mean, wow, wow, hog, wow, shocking, shocking. Guess who still hasn't had all the exciting deliveries he's waiting for? Uh, we'll stay. Should be coming today. Did not come today? It should be very soon. If it's not today, it'll be definitely. It should definitely be tomorrow. I know Royal Mail Spain's slightly slow at the moment though, so. I don't know. Um, what should I paint, guys? So we've got the mechanic, we've got the droid hunter. We've got the mercenary and we've got the sheriff. Which one do we think? No, and the delivery that was meant to come Sunday is still pending. What's the, what were you waiting on Sunday? Did you tell me? I can't remember. One with the hat? Well, there's two with hats. Droid hunter or the sheriff? I kind of like the sheriff. Oh, is that, oh okay, okay. Hunter, this one? Okay, we can do that. Um, I kind of want like brown, a brown cloak and hat, kind of uh, fits good, bad, and the ugly style. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go with hardened leather in straight away with that. Shade it in with ruddy fur or satchel, probably satchel brown actually. What are you doing in my swamp? Oh, What's up? How's it going? I don't even need to look now. Oh, hello. Uh, what was that? Iber Van Kenobi! Hey, thank you very much for the follow, welcome in. Right, put a load on the brush here. Yeah, those deliveries should happen fairly soon. Oh, I, I would have thought they'd be with you. When did I send them? Oh no, I sent them on Monday. No, they should be... Oh, they should have been today, yeah. But yeah, like I said, Royal Mail is being a little slow at the moment. Um, so hopefully tomorrow. Should be tomorrow. Uh, okay, so we want brown cloak. Uh, 
quite a lot on here and then we'll make sure we catch any cooling before it dries, hopefully. That's the plan. Okay, I'm up early and have no work today. I need to get a manicure pedicure today. I thought you were going to say I need to get some model painting done today. Do models. Do the model thing. Welcome in everyone on TikTok. How you doing today? I might do another coat of that cloak. The, this leather colour, possibly, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah, we'll leave that to dry. And I kind of want jeans. I want this guy to be wearing jeans. something about a, uh, an android or a robot wearing jeans that makes me very happy. It's not a sex thing. <laughs> it's not a sex thing. Terry and Navy, the best kind of paint for jeans. Android 18. Android 18. Oh, is that... Is Android 18 the... the um, Dragon Ball Z one? I don't know Dragon Ball Z. Actually, I might, I might dive between models here, just to let things dry. What is the time? Oh, we've got loads of time! Uh, such brown... Burnished red, dusk red, dark brown... Satchel brown? Burnished red, I would say. Hey, Spotty, welcome back. Okay, this is burnished red. This might be the wrong colour for these boots. No, 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 that's cool. Black on the soles. Why need to do two coats for the boots? Okay, 
I kind of want to do like a pallid bone for the shirt. We'll have to wait until that cloak has dried. But I just realised that, that makes Hedgehog the angel beside the demon. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Spot, you thought it was as simple as they were just a demon? Surely not. Surely not. You're irate. Ogre, when are you not irate at work? I feel like you're irate at work quite a lot. Alright, I'm going to put that to one side to let dry. Uh, and then I, I guess we'll work. I, I want to put jeans on this as well. Absolutely. Ooh, jeans. No, not jeans. Not jeans. I'm trapped inside a fake reality. Brownish decay for the trousers. Better days will never come. I want to say, possibly, maybe. Welcome in on TikTok. How you doing today? Um, I'm like a green shirt. I'm a green shirt. Leather on the on the waistcoat. Yeah, let's go. Let's do the green shirt first. So we want a. Um, orc skin, deep green, deep green on the shirt. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go with that. Do I want to know something exciting? Yeah, absolutely. At all times, uh, when people actually follow the protocol and give all the information on for a request, oh god, that that you're clearly asking too much. You're clearly asking too much. So do I. <sighs> Why, Hog? Why are you like this? Why, why, why are you like this? Okay. Ooh, that's a nice colour. We might go and shade that. It's a little, little bit light. Has he got an open shirt? I think he does. I think he's got an open shirt. He does got it. Yes. Okay. He does have an open shirt. That's exciting because I can play around with the skin tone then. Gibson, hey, uh, so what's this mini from? I'm getting Fallout vibes. It's very Fallout style. Yeah, it is very Fallout style. It's not It's not a Fallout mini though. Uh, so this is from the post-apocalyptic range on my website. Um, and I'm currently painting up all the models for my website as product photos. Um, <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, sticker. Jesus. That was such a weird noise ogre. Um, so yeah, when I finish this model, I will take some product photos for it, and then it will be available. Uh, some of the post-apocalyptic models are already up and finished, uh, and you can check them out at alchemistmodels.com. 
There is definitely, because it's post apocalyptic, there's definitely a kind of Fallout vibe to it. Vanessa, hey. So, Ogre, thank you very much for the bits. Much appreciated. And Velref, hey, how's it going? Welcome in. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, the model thing doesn't work anymore because I finished the model I was working on. And I haven't, I haven't uploaded these. This was like a last minute decision to get these undercoated and just prepped. Brilliant. Uh, do you have any tips for painting smaller scale? I'm trying to get into. Yes, I do. Bear with me a second. Because one of the big things that I sell on my website is Forest Dragon 10mm Fantasy. Uh, do I have any to hand? Yes, I do. Hang on. Where are they? They are in there. <laughs> Full, full spectrum dominance, which is 16 mil. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know that. Cool. So, I mean, this is slightly smaller. This is uh, 10 millimeter fantasy. So here is the forest dragon. Um, totally not slam mage priest. It's the frog mage. It's the frog mage. And we've also got a noble elf phoenix mage here as well. Now, both of these were painted with contrast paints. Uh, which I would highly recommend, like contrast or speed paint or anything like that, uh, I'd recommend for small scale stuff because it makes it so much easier. Do I have a YouTube as I need to back? Yes, I do have a YouTube. I There's not much on there at the moment, but I've just started doing tutorials and I'll be doing more and more and more. So it should be in my bio, in my link tree. Um, you should be able to get the, uh, the link in there. But yeah, I'll be doing some 10 millimeter stuff as well. Uh, a lot of edge highlighting with the dry brush brings out the scales very well. Yes, also uh, dry brushing. Yes, I agree. I agree. I mi I, you missed my something exciting. What was the something exciting? Oh, you're five models away from 300? <gasps> yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Music is a touch loud. Music is not loud enough. All right, well, if I just turn it down a little bit. There we go. I was working, I look across and see 10mm, what's being discussed? Oh, there's just someone on TikTok asking about small-scale painting advice. See you there then, thanks for TikTok. No worries, thank you very much for swinging by uh, the stream. Hopefully we'll see you soon. So yeah, there's the 10mm stuff. That, it's so much fun. I used to put all the characters on the little tiny square bases. Hard to hear you over the music? Okay, alright, I'll turn it down a little bit more then. There we go. Is that better? Uh, hey dog, if I get 10mm, I could smash the 400. You, you could! You could! How, how tempting is that? You do have credit. You totally have credit. And it's totally enough for a despoiler army. I'm just saying. I'm just putting it out there. Actually, it might be... Oh, no, I'm, I'm on the green and yellow, so that's fine. That's okay. I was wondering whether my mic was that turned down low. Uh, yeah, I think it is, actually. Hang on. I think that might be better for my mic? Yeah, okay. That looks looks like it's better. Right, so... Um, I don't want to go jeans with this. I want to go greens and browns. So we want to go with brownish decay for the trousers, I want to say. There we go. A little bit more. Ideal. I really like brownish decay for a trouser colour. Uh, 
Might do another coat of that. Let's see how that dries. Leather pants daddy. Damn right. Damn right. Uh, what happened to the music? Well, I can't hear it anymore. Can you can you actually not be? Can you can you actually not hear it? Uh, you got the most wanted speed paint set? Yes, Ogre. Have you played with them yet? My man, I've been given a bit more time, so jumped over from TikTok. So one of the paints you would suggest for small scale, you mentioned contrast, any particular brand. Madman the second, welcome over. Welcome over. Thank you very much for coming in. Um, right, so Contrast, I mean Contrast is a brand, technically, I know, I, I, I know, I'm that kind of guy. Um, but I'm currently working a lot with Speed Paint from Army Painter and also GW Contrast. M more Speed Paint than Contrast. Um, both are equally good for um, small scale stuff. Uh, you want to spray, I'd recommend, because when they brought out contrast they were like hey use use a white oh, sorry use a gray gray sear or what's it wraith bone i just spray white actually i technically i spray black and then white from above and just so you've got a little bit of texture in that um a little bit appreciating you don't need to do that with um with small scale i just go spray white completely and then go in with details um and because of the way that contrast and speed paint work you will get them painted so quickly. So, so quickly. Does it work well, the Slapchop method? Depends on how detailed the models are. Uh, I'd say yes, but what I will say with is when you're doing Slapchop, if you've got any skin on there, you do Slapchop and then you go and paint the skin perfectly white. That's what I did on these. Um, you can see on this one here that it's kind of got a bit of grey texture because I sprayed it black and then I kind of dusted it white. But then went in with a white paint and I can highly recommend... This isn't a sponsored, it's just a very good paint. Uh, Pro Acryl Bold, Bold Titanium White. This is insane. Really, really recommend. Um, any skin colour, doesn't matter what skin colour it eventually will be. You just want to start from a white base because the all of the skin uh speed paints and contrast they're very translucent or transparent one of the two uh so you want to work from a a flat base bold titanium white is amazing it really is it really really is so yeah that that's the only thing i would say about slap chop and those kind of techniques um anything that leaves a bit of the uh, darker undercoat underneath. I, if you're working with skin, then go back and repaint the skin so you've got a solid coat of white first before you then go in with the with the contrast or speed paint or whatever you're going to use. Um, I need a little bit of white and do a tiny bit of touch up. On there's a little bit here. Okay, that's that. So we're gonna put that to one side to just dry, and then we're gonna go back over to our droid hunter and just touch up with the with the white. I mean, this bold titanium white is perfect for touch ups when you're working with contrast and and speed paint. It's the main reason I've got it. It's a very very useful paint. Spotty is. Hey, alchemist. After using these new paints, would you do the gunship spaceship marine differently? Uh, yes, yes, I think I would. Um. Uh, would I? I'm not sure. I would... Because there's some really vibrant colours with the speed paint range that um, that I think would suit it better. So, yeah, I think I would. Mm. 
not there's anything wrong with with the the gunship space marine that uh, that I did for you. I just think with with these new paints, I could offer a little bit more. Okay. Have some straps touched up. The holster. up the edge of that shirt like that can I wait for the war paint fanatics line everyone who's tried them has been super impressed I I yeah I want them I want them I have no idea how I'm gonna get them I would probably replace the game color range with them because they they look fantastic you love the space marine look at it every day hey I'm glad I'm glad hold a piece of history it's true true okay so i'm just having a look at the uh the the turret and that that rust effect has dried really nicely i like that i mean it's it's just got a slight shine to it so i might hit it with a, a matte varnish afterwards but yeah i'm happy with that i might put a gloss varnish on that visor actually i'm gonna do that now because i've just got the gloss varnish here i might as well do that now. Just get it done. Tiny bit. Gloss varnish. Cool. Sorted. Um, yeah, the, the war paint range, uh, the Fnatic war paint range just looks fantastic. I, mean, I think it's going to be a winner. Uh, right, pallid bone. I think for the shirt. Oh, do I want to do pallet bone for the shirt? Yeah, 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 I do. The cow I use to block light so I can sleep. <laughs> Amazing. Demon cow. That cow was a lot of fun. A lot of fun to do. As soon as you came up with it, like, gave me the the reference image, I was like, yes, absolutely doing it. I like fun. Fun, whimsical paint jobs. Okay, so he's got a little kind of wrist guard. Like a tiny like, little van brace or something. go over with the second coat of that because that's quite thin although it kind of works uh, thanks to the holder you gave it what the um the plinth not getting to play with the speed paints yet but plan to break them out tonight if possible what are you going to uh, be painting with them hands though oh maybe i just put like silver hands Ooh, i like that like chrome hands make it really vibrant yeah let's do that uh satchel brown for the straps around his legs how would i do a gunship titan uh how would i do a gunship titan there'd be a lot of dry brushing involved Quite a lot of weathering, I think. I don't want to make it too clean. Madman the second. I only just got some speed paints and they work really well with Battletech. Yeah, Battletech um, they will work really well with. Anything... And you can make them work on, on flat surfaces. Like, you still get that effect. Like, this is, this is speed paint. Um... It depends on what you want. If you want a completely flat really clean look then speed paint is not the right way to go with um unless you airbrush it but then you're not getting the most out of it in my opinion 
I like it for this this style, this kind of grimy, gritty version. Gonna paint up a couple of eight mil Space Marine rhinos. Oh, what from from um, not Titanicus? You know what I mean? Legio, whatever it is. Imperialis, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Uh, where's the thing? There it is. Anyone working with speed paints, I can highly recommend this brush that I'm using, uh, which is a Raphael zero size is 8404 uh it's very very good for kind of contrast and um uh and speed paints because it holds it holds a point while holding a lot of the liquid in the just above the tip very very good for this style of painting Okay, I need to wait for that to dry. Okay, so there's our kind of cowboy droid hunter. So far, go back to the sheriff. No worries, Merlin. Have fun, buddy. I'm told the Warhammer Store free mini for December is an Imperialis Rhino. That's kind of cool. That's very small, though. <laughs> That's very small, but I, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Welcome in over on TikTok. How's it going? Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, ah, hang on. I've missed... Are this trousers? Yeah, they are trousers. Ah, uh, where's the paint? Which one's the paint? That one? I hope that's not the right thing. Oh, is it this? No, that's blue. Okay, I've lost I've lost my trouser paint. Brownish decay. Christmas tree! Hey, how's it going? Welcome in. Let's put a little bit more down there and do the waistband. of the trousers there. We'll touch up around the belt in a bit when that's dry. I don't think we need a second coat for the trousers. I really like that colour and like that tone. They're a little bigger than I thought they would be. Yeah, they're 8 mil. They're, they're, they're bigger than Epic. I really don't get the... Um, the mentality behind going for 8 mil because it, I mean, yes it makes it its own thing, it makes you kind of have to buy their own thing, I get it I do get it, but why don't you just make it 6 mil, or 10 mil one of the two, why 8 mil such a weird, yeah I know it's money, I get it but it's such a weird Fine, whatever. Um, ruddy fur. Ruddy fur. No, aged hide. Pale yellowish ink. Ooh, maybe not. No, ruddy fur for the... Is it just snake bite leather? I think it's snake bite leather. Yeah. Hardened leather, sorry, not snake bite. They can license eight mil. No one has done it before. Has no one done? Has no one done eight mil before? I'm sure they have. I get. Yeah, it's a licensing thing, isn't it? Eight mil is exactly one quarter the 40k scale. 
Yeah, I would have thought 8 mil. Like, all the scales are already out there. I, I would have thought, like, 6 mil just annoys everyone who has Epic already. But I guess they want new sales. So, I get it. I get it. It's just the... Capitalism! Never gonna go... Uh, never going to get 8 mil unless I'm not going to... I'm gonna paint them. It's a really fun scale, like, small scale stuff, dude, it's really, really fun. Something I need to crack on with after... Oh god, I've got so much to do. I think after the post-apocalyptic stuff, I will grab some of the 6 mil um, uh, Sendray stuff, so I need to start painting that up. So email scale is better detail, easy easy to paint with speed paints. Oh, I mean, yeah, but why not 10 mil? 10 mil is a really nice scale. I don't know. I, I, I just... Why 8? Why land on 8? But I guess they, they have to go with something, so... I think with the whole, if it, if it was the let's make it our own and so people can't use third party stuff, that's kind of null and void with 3D printing now. That That isn't really a thing anymore because you just scale it. People will scale their own stuff. Uh, Madman, yeah, I'm just dipping my toe into small scale with this full spectrum dominance stuff as it looks really cool. I've had, I haven't heard of that. Have you got a link to full spectrum dominance? Is it sci-fi, fantasy? What is it? Okay, so we got hardened leather for the waistcoat and we'll do it or the hat as well. go. Oh, cool. There we go. Imagine an 8-mil battle scene in the bottom of a fish tank. You could do a whole battle in action. You could. You could. Hey, Spotty, think about that. Oh, I have seen this. I recognise the... Um, hang on. I recognise that walker. This was a... Was this a Kickstarter a while ago? Lazy Forger. My manufacturer. Yeah, this was a Kickstarter. I actually looked at this as a potential to sell it. Uh, MIDI, yeah, it's under Lazy Forger, yeah. So whole army is, it's two player start set, 60 quid, yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing this stuff. I think at the time the, um, the license was just a little too out on my budget. I can't remember the exact reason for not doing it. Hey, Wordling, how's it going? And Modifius will be publishing the rule. Wait, well, for what? For what? Oh, sci fi. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Modifius is doing the rules? Okay. This is where I've seen the set and the rules seem very simple and fun to play and easy to teach, which comes in handy when teaching kids. That's very true. It's very true. Um, I have two games in the in the works one is about 30 percent done or ready for playtesting another one is 
like 5%. I have an idea. <laughs> um, but one of them potentially could have models soon. Intriguing? Yes. Um, that's all the information I'm giving you right now. There is there is a potential. Well, one of them one of them is a. Sorry, I can give you a little bit more information. One is a skirmish warband type game, and the other one is a mech game and a mech tank game. Kind of similar to uh, what was it full scale dominance? Yeah, eighty games at a five percent. Yeah, I know, right? Such is the way. I want to make a mech game. Alright, just going to go around some white. I need to, I need to set aside a week where it's like, I don't do any painting, I don't do any streaming, essentially it's a holiday from everything else, but I just sit down and write rules. And, I, and I, I just create the game. Or games. I'd focus on one of them. Love that game. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Ogre, thank you very much for the bit. I can help there. I know, I know. You, I know you're, you're, you're very much on my uh, playtester. Um, playtester radar. Man, I'll keep an eye out for it. Got your site saved on my Google now. Hey, awesome, man, man. Thank you very much. Love that game. What would... Isn't that Mo Speaks? Wow. Okay. 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 Um, show of hands, chat. What would people prefer? If I had to pick one, or at least pick one to start with, what would people prefer? Uh, that's a lot of letters and numbers. I'm not even going to try. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in. What would people prefer? A um, a kind of dark fantasy skirmish warband game or a small scale mech tank game? Can we get a poll actually? Should we do a poll? Small scale mech tank personally, just now is what I'm into. Yeah, let's, let's put the, the, there's the pole, there's the pole. I'll give you a pole, yeah you will. <laughs> so stupid. One sticker away from a sticker party as well. One away. One away. This poll sucks. There's no potato. How dare you. How dare you. Fancy skirmish. Mini mech. Oh, I feel like mini mech's a thing to go. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to change my plans then. That's actually more potential. Uh, sorry. That, that has more potential to actually happen. With, with current talks. So, okay. Intriguing, intriguing. Starting to get into Kings of War as well, so I don't know, just love spending money apparently. Madman, have a look on my, I mean, depends if you want to do Kings of War. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't. So, on my website, hang on, I'll just show you. It's a, it's a lot easier just to show you. Over here, here's the website. Hi, look at, look at the website. Uh, in fantasy, we have all of the fantasy singles, units, monsters, chibi, and small scale. Small scale is the uh, the stuff that I just showed off. I've still got I've got some new terrain as well. 
this is a constant. Like this will constantly grow because this is one of my monthly. Um, this is one of my monthly Patreons. Uh, one of my monthly licenses. Sorry. Um, and these armies are always growing. What if for Kings of War? If you didn't want to do small scale, which is what a lot of people do for Kings of War, you could go to fantasy units. And these are ones that I will. I'm kind of slowly working my way through. This is Kingdom of Talarius. And uh, this is basically an entire fantasy. Why is that not? Why is that not loaded? There we go. Um, this is an entire fantasy army. Um, with pretty much any unit you could possibly need. Uh, including these very, very cool Rokobo heavy cavalry. These, are, these ones are actually the prints as well. So you can see the quality coming out. Uh, we, I will be painting up a unit of everything, but I love, I absolutely love, love the knights. There's also in the singles, um, you've got lots of different fantasy singles, but the Kingdom of Talaria singles are, some of them I've painted up. There you go, some of them are here, working as nice heroes. So there is a possibility for Kings of War. Uh, and uh, the old world as well, because I'm, I'm putting them on 25 mil bases. Um, ba -ba -bum. It's the last stream of the month, Jesse. So I'm doing. Yes, it is the last stream of the month. I'm actually doing um, the draw on Friday, though. Because it's the last stream of the month, but there's a little bit more time. So to give people a bit more time before the end of the month, we're going to do the draw on Friday. Unless people particularly want it today. Christmas definitely be grabbing a few things off it. Hey, awesome. That's lovely to hear. Lovely. Thank you. Um, right. Let's just touch up that skin there. Today? You want to do it today? Alright, okay. So, we'll do it in... Well, we'll do it very, very shortly. Uh, but just to give everyone a heads up, we will do the draw today uh, for the raffle. For those of you who don't know or are new or whatever, um, every month I hold a raffle in my Discord. And all you have to do to enter is put a picture of a model or any artwork that you have finished this month or whatever month we're doing uh there's the link for the discord thank you very much uh ogre mini mech okay so did, wow okay yeah yeah 86 percent on a mini mech i guess i'm creating a mech and tank game then <laughs> um uh yeah all you have to do to enter the discord um raffle is put a picture of a finished a finished piece of art into the finished work section in the discord that will get you automatically entered into the raffle and the price of that is a £25 voucher for my web store. So, uh, Madman, if you have a picture of a model that you finished painted, painting in what, November, I have to think about what month we're in, uh, then put it in the dis join the Discord, put it in the Discord, and uh, you have a chance of winning a £25 voucher. If you don't have anything, don't worry, I run this every month, every single month, and it's a... Uh, it's a kind of incentive for people to get models finished and painted. Giant Stompy Robots? We could do that. Alright, okay. That's intriguing then. Okay. Okay, yeah, alright. That, that has set off some ideas. That set off some ideas. Intriguing. Uh, you have a question. Go ahead. Is it a sensible question? Um, I'll have to hit next month if I've not had a cr uh, chance to paint in November. Not a problem. Not a problem. But make sure you join the Discord because uh, it's 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 the only way to enter it is uh, is through the Discord. The link is there. 
Um, but yeah, I hold it every single month and we do the draw on the last stream of the month. With Battletech Resurgent, it's a very popular thing right now. Okay, alright. It's not for you, I was just letting you know. Thank you. Thank you, Hedhog. God damn it. Bane of my existence. Okay, I need to shade this cloak because that's too similar. Or maybe we just do another coat. Let's just do another coat. Uga Chaka! Hey Uga Chaka, how's it going? Welcome in. Oh my god! Oh! 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 oh. Suits you, sir! Suits you, sir! Brannigan's brushes! Ugh! Oh. Ugh, oh, I'm going to get banned from TikTok from the noises I just made. Ugh, oh, outstanding. Stop gagging? No. No, I won't. I won't. It's a re re weird reflex. It's a perfectly good reflex. Brannigan's brushes, welcome in. There's the shout out for Brannigan. If you're not following, my twin on Twitch. And miniature painter extraordinaire, dear God, what are you doing with your life? I'm so disappointed in you. Uh, go and follow. Go and follow. Please die quieter. No, I'm gonna die louder now. What noise did Alki make when he got to the? <laughs> uh, similar to Cinderella. This man. Oh. Oh. How you doing, Bram? Welcome in. How was, uh... How was Dark Tide last night? I hear fun was had when you actually managed to join in. Pay that epic shout-out money shortly. God damn right. God damn right. Always be hustling. <laughs> Don't get me started, really. Were you, so, you, were you on Xbox? Was there a bit of an issue with that? Because I was going to do it on Xbox as well. Want to see a two for one? So, we're just done with phrasing, right? That's not a thing anymore? Brilliant. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Two out. Oh, it was an update. Right, okay. Right. I thought there was just an issue connecting. Okay. We'll shade that a little bit more. But I'm kind of happy with where this is going. Uh, and I was using the Xbox app on PC. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got you. I had to reinstall Windows 11 on my PC last night. Th took three days? Why? Why did it take three days? Why, why, why? Uh, if, have you just on website now madman thank you very very much for coming and joining the community i hope you have a lovely day and we'll see you again soon uh bran other than that i'm great my man how's your beautiful self my beautiful self is beautiful <laughs> um i'm very good thank you very much uh we finished painting look look, look. we finished painting a model uh this is the uh coalition heavy machine gun turret daka 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 uh so this is one of the website models yes yes very very cool model so there's this and then we started painting um some of the last post-apocalyptic models very fallout style very wild west look at all that daka all the Dakar! And apparently I'm making uh, a mech and a tank miniatures game. Oh, no, actually, you know about that because I told you. Reen Fox! Hello, hello, hello. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in. I have a funny feeling that uh, using uh, TikTok Studio is not the best way to go live on TikTok, which is annoying 
because I want to use my phone. I guess my, ah, that's really annoying. That is irritating. That is irritating. Green Fox, hello, welcome in. You're in the. You are in the loop. You are in the loop. This is very true. Um, because I've got, I've recently started uh, pre-supporting for a Patreon. Um, and and uh, things things are being discussed, which is very very interesting. So I better Hello get a, get a move on and uh, start writing some rules for a game. Very exciting, very exciting. Oh, the rollout, the rollout. He's hit me with the rollout. Okay. All right, let's get it done. Let me just let me just finish touching up this white. Brian, are you excited for our holiday? Someone haven't moved for a while? Yeah, I haven't moved in a while, to be fair. So, roll out. So hype, can't wait to hold hands and eat ice cream together on the beach. I mean, is there is there a beach in Amsterdam? I don't I don't feel like that's... I feel like you've misread the situation, and also the location. <laughs> Alright, we, uh, we got a roll out redeem. So let's go and let's go and be healthy. Oh well, fuck me. I get, well, I mean that was the point, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Amsterdam is eighty percent beach. I don't believe that. I, d I choose not to believe that. Uh, right, here we go. We gotta do some roll ups. We gotta do some exercise. <laughs> oh my god, what's happened? Ah, what's happened? Oh, holy crap! Ogre with the tens. Hang on, hang on. Hang the fuck on! Ogre with the 10 gifted subs? What? What? So, if you, Ghost Hawks, Princess GR, uh, Hippolyte, 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 Snapshot Superhero, Timonen Bonin, Thor but Fat, Dead Eye Minis, Haunted Sniper, Mr. Chloldnik? And Flying Ryan, if you're all in the chat, then reach out and say thank you very much to Ogre Forge Miniatures for gifting you a tier one sub. Uh, dude, thank you very, very much, Ogre. Thank you very, very much. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stop going live on TikTok because uh, I don't think TikTok Studio is the best way of doing that. I think I've got to go back to my phone. That's really annoying. Bye, TikTok. End. There we go. Cool. Um, Ogre, thank you very, very much. That's incredibly kind. It's incredibly kind. Oh. Okay, let's just let's 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 close that down. We don't need that anymore. Um, right. So you've never been gifted a sub here. Well, I mean, because oh, you've subbed from the beginning. Did TikTok Studio just crash on me? I feel like it did. Okay. All right. We'll we'll just ignore that. Uh, it is treat time. And we we're gonna go over to the Discord in a minute as well. So, uh. Ogre. God, what's 10 times? Oh my. Wait, what? No, 10 times. Fuck. 50. Am I doing 50 rollouts? No. Am I doing 75 rollouts? It's not 500. That's not how maths works. That's not how numbers work. I, I, I do not choose to believe this. I could do squats for yours. Great, so I'm doing 50 squats. That's fun. Fuck. Who's going to know maths better? Literally anyone but me. Yeah, okay, that's fine. All right, let's do the rollouts first. Oh God, 50 squats? I'm not sure I can do 50 squats. Actually, I know what I'll do, I know what I'll do. I'm gonna do 25 squats now, straight into 25 rollouts, and then go back to 25 squats. I feel like that's, I feel like that's fair, right? Not with that attitude, you can't. Bran, Bran, have you seen this? It's only a fucking, 
It's a crab hat, Bran! A crab hat! I look incredible, right? Because we're crab squatting. Do you get it? Do you get it? Ah! Oh, why are you looking at my crotch? Let's give you a dog. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. It's really dark. I think it's because I need to up the lighting in here. Oh, that's right. Screw it. It's fine. So, we've got the crab hat on. We assume the position. We've got one claw. We've got the second claw. And now we go down. Here we go. We're going to do 25 crab squats, 25 rollouts, and then 25 crab squats. I'm not even counting. Let's say seven. There we go. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. I've just realised Bran has never seen this before. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Your back hurts just watching this? Why? What's wrong with my, what's wrong with my perfect form? It's perfect form, I'll have you know. It might be why my back's been hurting recently. I'm, <laughs> I'm not, not gonna lie. <laughs> that might be, uh, that might be why. Okay, straight into 25 rollouts. Squats. Uh, yeah. He's got quiet, deep focus. Yep. Yeah. Remembering to breathe. Okay. What's this? What? Wait until I hit him with the second 10 subs. Do it. I dare you. Do it. Bring it on. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh God, why? Oh God. Oh God, why? Oh God, why? Oh God, I'm gonna die. Oh God, thank you very, very much. It's incredibly kind. So, Zarnoth, Astro Jedi, Fantoba, Dusty Telephone, Scanion, Sir Paddy of Nerdington, Salty Irishman, Elden Tux, Ozlock93, and Queen, Queen Frostink. Ah, uh, Frost, Frostink? Frostink. If you're in the chat, reach out and say thank you very much to Ogre for gifting you a tier one sub. Stop complaining, get, get squatting. Wow, Br Brian, you're really jumping in on the, on the, wow, okay, okay, okay. We got a sticker party as well! Yeah! <laughs> Throw the stickers, stickers are free! Use the stream stickers down below. Throw the stickers up, we got a party! We're gonna squat! Ah! Yes! Ten. Oh god, it hurts so much! 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. That's the first lot done. Ow. Oh, my groin hurts so much. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. Who 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 gifted the the last hundred bits? Kryptonian. Thank you, Kryptonian. Yeah, ba Bailey's just not happy right now. <laughs> you alright, buddy? Hey. How's it going? Right. Ah. Uh, oh my God. Thank you very much for the bits. Right. So I owe. There's another fifty of either squats or rollouts. What do you want? Ugh, so out of breath. Ugh, cardio's a bitch. What are we on? What are we doing? Squat outs? Get fucked. Rollouts is fine. Rollouts is fine. Bailey's is concerned. Uh, Whittling, that's just his face. It's just his face. Okay, 50 rollouts. Jesus Christ. Oh, got my legs. Thank you very much, Ogre. That's 20 gifted subs in total. Thank you. It's incredibly kind. Can we get some just like hype for Ogre, please? Okay. That's 25, we're halfway there. I'm just gonna take a quick breather. Oh god. Oops. Ah, on chat. Also, overtaken burger? Uh, bu 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 berserk from top squat, really? Is anyone counting? I'm counting. Uh, I know you're enjoying my suffering spotties, I know, I know. A lot of people, I'm sure Ogre is as well. Oh god, okay. Halfway there, 25 to go. Ogre, if you do another 10, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna love you, but I'll kill you. There we go. Bye. That's 50 in total. Ah, son of a bitch. Ah. Ogre, thank you very much, my dude. Ah. Ow. Ah. Okay. Okay, can I get redeemed treat in chat? Ugh. Not much painting going on. Shut up. <laughs> is it treat time? Yay. It is treat time. Do you want a treat? Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Bailey, you're not happy, are you? Sorry, mate. It's 
So you all know, uh, Alki was the first miniature stream I found during COVID. I think I've been subbed for about three. I think you have, dude. I think you have. Thank you very much for the continued support. Right, okay. Do you want a treat? Yeah? You scrabble over to the other side. Can I sit down? Can I sit down? Okay, alright. Oh, are we sniffing? Are we sniffing? Yeah. Oh, look at that smile. Look at that smile. Your treat. Yeah, Bran, it's, it is a it is a painting stream, very much so. You know, you know the pain. Majestic pup. Look at the majestic pup. Standing. Ah, oh, standing's a thing. Okay, so shall we do the draw? I need a piece of paper. Should we do the raffle? Why am I so short? There we go. Encourage more subs for squats, but I don't want to. Don't want to see you hurt. I won't get hurt. It's fine. My technique is flawless. I'll be fine. There's nothing a hot bath and severe amounts of painkillers won't fix, right? Okay. Where's my pen? Or a pencil. I don't mind which. Where's my pen? Sorry, pencil will do. There you go. Cool. Right. Leon, hey Leon. There was a draw. There will be a draw. Leon, have you finished a model? What, uh, what are I drawing? A raffle. A raffle. Uh, have you finished a model this month? If you have, take a photo, put it in the Discord, in the finished work section with the. Um, with the tag raffle and uh, that'll get you entered into the raffle for a 25 pound voucher to the web store uh, let's put you there no let's put you there what the what the shit Okay. Ah, away. What's happened? Okay, cool. Right. Okay, let's head over to the uh, finish work Discord. Let me just scroll up. 
to where we start. No, not there. Feel like it's there. Yes, there we go. Okay, here we go. So this is the finished work raffle. Let's have a quick look at every what everyone's put in. So straight away, Antiv on the first. The Grey Knight. Uh, are these the bits? Did I print these bits for you? I feel like I printed these bits for you, for you. I feel like I did. This is really cool. This really works as a Dread Knight. And I'm not gonna lie, I prefer it as the uh, to the GW one. So big, big yes to this. Very ni nice, nice I really like the gold on the back bit here, and the purple sword. Lovely, lovely work. Uh, Weirdling putting in a. Oh, I don't know what. Weirdling, what is this? Need spacing. <gasps> That's very true, actually, Antiv. Antiv, where's the base? Where's the base on that? Uh, Weirdling, where's this? Oh, it's frameworks? Ah, okay. How are you finding the frame framework stuff? I haven't I haven't done any of them. I like the design. It's the fighter. Okay, I like the design. Love. The, I like the sword. Yeah, that's very cool. Sort of mid. That's kind of what I was expecting. I think they're not. I don't think they're model kits. They're just game kits. I like the base though. The base is really nice. Framework's nice, but not worth the price. No, the price is ridiculous on them, isn't it? Very, very cool. Uh, Zabobo coming in with some, I want to say, Eradicators? Blood Angel Eradicators? They're easy to build. Yeah. I think they're, they're supposed to be quite beginner-friendly. Space Marines. Yes. Yeah, really tidy work. Really, really nice. I love the green and blue. Uh, like, green and blue on the heads here. Very, very... And the, the, those bases are really neat. Really, really neat. Uh, Shinifnassi? Shnifnassi? Shnifnass. Shnifnass? Yes. In Krista Greyfax here... I need to paint this model up. I, 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 need a, I need a copy of this model. It's really nice. Love the base here. With um, what looks like to be cork, maybe? Or possibly polystyrene sheets? I'm not sure. Uh, love the chrome as well on the armor. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. What did you call me? You heard. You heard. Uh, let me just let's see. Okay, cool. There we go. You heard. Yeah. Uh, and then Mad Max with the dragons. This was a uh, commission, I believe. Um, Max was doing a load of uh, dragons. And I, from what he said, this is a mixture between airbrush and dry brushing, I think. They say this second ever model. Wait, really? What? Where? Second figure. Oh, no, I remember this conversation, actually. Yes, their second ever model. This was their second ever model, which is ridiculous. Greyfax has got so much detail on her. No worries, Spottiest. Have a good one, dude. We'll see you on Friday. Warhammer Mum. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, that's that that second ever model for Gravax is there. That is that is a challenge and really well done. Uh, so there's Max's dragon. Embassy Clerk has got a painted up an executor for a D and D a friend's D and D campaign. I really like the mat metal on this. Embassy Clerk. There we go. Miss you talking about my model. We'll get back to it. We'll get back to it. Um. I'd like to maybe uh, maybe I'd like to see a bit more basing on this, but it depends on the style, depends what it's supposed to be. Um, very very nice. I love the, I love the dry brushing and the work on the metal and the washes. Very very nice. Uh, Antiv 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 Antiv. Uh, yes, I said this is the uh, the print that I did for you, right? The the expansion kit. Also, let me see the base. Let me see what you can do with a base, man. I want to see what you can do with a base. But I really like the gold on the, the back bit and the, the purple sword. I really, really like that. I'd argue... Yeah, I would argue this isn't necessarily finished. I th I, th I think you can do more. I want, I want you to push yourself. Purple and green. Oh, there's green on the other side, isn't it? 
Oh yeah, yeah, it's quite hard to see from the from this photo. I want yeah, I, Antiv, I give you a mission. I give you a mission. It's a really nice clean metal work. Base this for next month. Base this for next month. Oh, the, oh, it's color shift paint. Nice. Very, very cool. Yes. I want to see a base. I want to see a finished base. Uh, Weirdling. Weirdling working on the Blood Reavers, I want to say. Base it for this month. Base it for this month or it don't count. Wow. Harsh rules. Harsh rules. Fair rules. The color shift stuff's really nice. Bailey's going for it. Bailey. Wait, you stop trying to get me banned. You're not in trouble. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry. Uh, so these are the Blood Reavers. Who's this? Oh, it's Weirdling. Okay, cool. Uh, I've already got Weirdling down. Um, really like skin tones. That beard's really nice. Very, very cool. Nice highlighting on the scarring. We like this. Warhammer Underworld's corn. Oh, is this the Underworld's t um, team thing? Ooh, I like that skin tone. That skin tone's nice. Very, very nice. Love it, Whittling. Love that. Love that beard color. Love that beard color. Very cool. Ogre with the dwarfs, the ten mil dwarfs. Oh, these are the um the the elite guard. That did I print these for you? I think I printed these for you. I did. Yeah, these come out really nice, dude. Really, really nice. I love the subtle basing as well. Very, very cool. We've got a couple of close-ups here. So these are the Elite Guard, which aren't actually on the website, but they will be going up very, very soon. Uh, I hope uh, tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. I've got, I've got a film tomorrow, so probably not tomorrow. Oh, and even more, the cannons. So these are Chromity, aren't they? These aren't Forge, uh, Forest Dragon. Are these chromaty? Yeah, these chromaty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cannons are slightly... They're slightly bigger cannons, aren't they? And then you've got the... Uh, one of the lords. Lovely work on the beard here, dude. Love that kind of high contrast value on the beard. Very, very nice. And there's the whole unit of the elite guard. Oh, they look so good all done together. Very cool, very cool. Oh, and the buildings as well. Holy crap, Ogre. Yeah. I love this anvil. This anvil of doom is very, very cool. Where are the buildings from? Are they Chromity as well? That's a cool little army. I like that. Ah, oh, 10 mil stuff. Ah, oh, 10 mil stuff. Stibio. There you go. I don't believe that this, this was painted this month. I vaguely remember that Stibio said this wasn't painted this month. Uh, so we're not going to enter it. But this is very, very cool. Dual wielding chainsword armed space marine. Yes. All the yes. And beautifully executed. Uh, weirdly coming in with the Ogroid Myrmidon, I want to say. I want to say it's Myrmidon. Love the uh, the fire, fire hair there. Very, very cool. Uh, Vite with the 28 mil White Witch Hunter from Signum Games. Totally not Geralt. Uh, Vite, this was. Vite. Mecha. Maybe being stricter about raffle entry comments could be worthwhile to avoid such issues. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to. I think I'm going to have to. After this month, if it doesn't have the raffle entry little tag, it won't be entered. Um, yes, I agree. I agree, I agree. Uh, this is really nice. Love the scar on the face there, and the detail on the uh, on the the kind of beastman head. That's really nice. There's a lot of detail on this model. I love the base as well. That's 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 occasionally a um, like a, a, a I don't know how to say this. A base without lots of different basing. Like that is just one type of basing, but it really works here. It really works. Hang on, let me just put some more music on because we've run out of that playlist. There we go. 
Uh, let's put... Oh, come on, Internet. Don't fail me now. A separate channel is also an option, but I think that's just messy. Yeah, could, that could get messy. There we go. Cool. I might put it into the wrap. Uh, mm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, continue on. Ruggy with a, I want to say 3D printed dwarf. I don't know where it's from, but it's very, very cool. Love the dark muted skin tones here and the, the different types of leather. This is, this is, this is a really nice model. I like this. Loads of character in it. Are you going to Disneyland if you win? That's fair. That's fair. Love the subtle flame, the the, the glow from the uh, from the pipe there as well. Uh, Esmeralda putting in some bushido. Esme loves their bushido. Esme, that's really nice. That blue and yellow, gorgeous. Really, really nice. Lovely skin tone. Love the highlight along the uh, the staff here, uh, or the the hilt, not hilt, pole. There we go. We'll go with pole. I love that. Really, really nice. Uh, Karanis, 3D sculpt I finished a while ago. Okay, so it's a while ago, but I love this. It's a really, really nice sculpt. I've already inquired about a, uh, a commercial license. Yeah, really, really nice sculpt. Lots of character. Lots of motion. I love it. Love it. Uh, Hedgehog coming in with uh, Darth Maul's brother, Savage. Savage Press. Hedgehog. Get you an entry. Love the face tattoos. You've got you've really nailed the skin tone actually. That's lovely. And a nice subtle highlights on the blades. Very nice, dude. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh Ogre with Oh, this is your um Have I put you I've already put you down. Uh this is your Haradrum? No, not Haradrum. Eastling. 3D print battle company, isn't it? He was a quickie but happy with him, I bet. <laughs> I bet you are. Yeah, this is really nice. How's that campaign going? I love the little Drake. Is it? It's a Drake, isn't it? That little thing. This thing. Yeah, I like this as a, as a, as a third party alternative sculpt for East Things. I really enjoy it. Really, really enjoy that. Uh. November Rains coming in with the raffle entry. I have no idea where this model's from, but it's still very, very cool. I love the, the stonework. Love the stonework. November Rains. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, Nerd Haller with the Tenacious D Halfling Bars. I love these. Look at them. Look at them in their, all their glory. Nerd Halla. I look at the character. I love them. Post the link for the dwarf you liked. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Oh, round two's tomorrow? Very cool. Look at JB. Look at Jables. Ah. Oh, big fan. Big fan. Uh, Rhett. Doing a whole bloody army. Finish the, um, the custodes box. With a very, very cool alternative colour scheme. Uh, this was... What was this? This was... Something Glacier? I think it was either the Glacier paint or the Briar Queen Chill. I can't remember which one they used in the end. Uh, I think this colour scheme really works. It's a really nice alternative colour scheme for Custodies. When you're getting a little tired of the old gold boys. Uh, Dreadcure worked on a t-shirt that they showed off a while ago. I really like this design. I think this is Warcraft, from what I remember. I think. I like that. I like the colour shift as well. Uh, Vanessa showing us all up. Holy crap. Uh, this was kind of scratch, but was it scratch built, Vanessa? The t-shirt's awesome. The t-shirt's very cool. I don't feel like this is... I don't feel like it's a scratch build. I can't remember, though. Vanessa, if you're here, talk to us. Tell us. The the in-between scales here is gorgeous. And that tattoo... I think the tattoo is freehand. The gold. Oh, everything about this. 
Vanessa, stop being so good. I haven't seen the hair before. That blend. Oh. Oh. Stunning, Vanessa. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Uh, there's my fame, prickly leaves. Little portrait I did. It is stunning, isn't it, Leon? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, this I completed this month. I was really happy with it. Obviously, I'm not going to enter the raffle myself because that would be stupid and would make no sense. But I will do a shameless plug. This is for sale. Uh, you can see details on the website. Enter yourself. I bet you love it. Uh, and then maternal pillow finishing work on the uh, the Green Knight. Totally not Green Knight from, uh, from Forest Dragon. I'd like to see the base done. I, I, I think I'm going to start... I, I'm going to have to be a little little bit... Um, enforcing the rules a little bit on the bases for this. But I'm glad you called them done. Very, very nice. Uh, and Ogre did the Green Knight as well. Yay! And then me as well. Yay! All the Green Knights. All the Green Knights. Hedgehog with the completed army of the Night Haunt. Paint your bases. Yeah, absolutely. Do your bases. Double empty yourself. <laughs> no. Uh, these look great, dude. I, I know you were like, hey, I just want to do them quickly and cheerfully. I think they I think they work. I think they work perfectly. Um, and it's nice to see paint on the models that have been sitting in my uh, in my boxes for, for like years. I'm, I'm glad to see someone's putting them to good use. They work really well. And the, ba the bases, like the fallen leaves, work really well. Are very, very nice. Uh, Ogre putting up some 40k terrain. Very nice. This is all official stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like official stuff. Where's this from? This is cool. Happy with it as an army, if it, even if it hurt not to do the queen properly. It's it's absolutely fine, dude. I think it it, it definitely works. Like Night Haunt, you can you can definitely get away with it. It's very cool having painted one of your armies. Someone's got to. Wow. I will. Uh, hang on. Let me just do a quick count. Yes, you've painted. You've painted a bigger army. You've painted a bigger one of my armies than I have. Fantastic. Little more are painting up some uh, D and D terrain. L tiny little, tiny little bookshop. Took me eight hours. God damn it. Oh, it's from the Urban Conquest books. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I really like this. This is this is nice. I love the glow. There's so much detail in here. Every time you see it, you see something else. Very nice. Uh, tea time with Toby. Finishing off Basil. Yeah, I always love seeing uh, the um, the Alchemist exclusive models in the wild and getting paint on. It brings me joy, and I uh, this this is this is awesome. Love the green eyes. The green eyes really caught me off guard. Honestly, though, I'm so glad you built them. No way I have done them if they didn't come built. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've still got a load of um, chain rasps. I've got like 120 chain rasps on Sprue if you want them. Uh, and then Vanessa put these in today. These, I'm assuming, with a, was a commission for an MCP. The MCP new box. Really like, I think Vanessa did a YouTube video for this. Um, very, very nice. Love the OSL on Red Skull. Love the hair. On Black Widow here. This is very cool. I'm not massive on the model itself, like the sculpt. Um, I've never been a fan of models that were. They look like they're fighting something very specific, so it kind of takes me out of it in the game. But from a from a modeling point of view, it's great. And painting, yes, uh, the black highlights, wonderful. Uh, yes, with the Cree um, color scheme, big fan of that. And then I think there's another version of the hair. Yeah. Very cool, Vanessa. That green works really nicely. And then Spider-Man with the Venom kind of mixing between the, the Venom suit and the original suit. Big fan of that, Vanessa. Big fan of that. And then Leon entered in some old school... Uh, well, I say old school. They're still available. The Lord of the Rings plastic orcs. Leon Smith. Very cool. Love the bases as well, dude. Uh, all of the... Is that old school Haldir? Is that the metal Haldir in the background? I feel like it is. I think we should do... Uh, we should try OPR Fantasy, though. I Yeah, absolutely up for that. Um, I, I need an army, but yeah, we can do that. 
Very, very cool, Ian. Nice. Thanks for sharing. This this reminds me of the colour scheme that they used in the very first White Dwarf Lord of the Rings battle, battle report. It was different orcs, but it was that kind of colour scheme. Uh, and then Warhammer Mum, right at the end, with something a Witcher diorama. Ooh, okay. Intriguing, intriguing. Is this Baba Yaga? Or is this another... I don't know the Witcher lore that well. Very nice, very nice. Lots of lovely detail on all the patchwork. I feel like that might be back. Oh, it's the Crones. Ah, okay, okay. Very cool. I will write your name down there. Warhammer Mum. Cool, right, okay. So we have... Oh, they live in the Baba Yaga house. Ah, okay, okay, okay. gotcha. So we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen! Eighteen entries! Thank you very much to everyone who has entered. Um, right, random number generator. Number generator. Between one and eighteen. Can we get some hype? Can we get some drum rolls in chat, please? Yes, lit hype. And I'm generating now. The winner is number three. So one, two, three. Shin Shinifaz it would have to be the one name that I can't pronounce. Shni Shnifase. Shnifasi? Shnifas. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. I will get in contact. I don't think they're in the chat, but I will get in contact through. Uh, through Discord. There we go. Cool. Right. Uh, where were we? There. Um, so, I will say this now. I'm going to be start, start being stricter on the finished models. Fully painted and fully based. Also, have to have the raffle tag. I may start a new channel. I'm not sure. Just for raffle entries. Instead of just finished models. That might be easier. Fuck you. Uh, says, says the guy who just won, like, two, uh, two raffle entries from last month. Fit, fully painted, fully based. Get basing, Antiv. Get basing. Global, hey. Uh, what was the coolest fuck frog guy that was shown earlier? Frog guy? Unfinished ain't finished. I, wa I want to see painted bases. Push yourself. Push yourself. Uh, frog guy. Frog guy? Let me just scroll up. Frog guy, frog guy, frog guy. Frog, 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 frog. Uh, there wasn't a frog in the finish. Where was the frog model? Oh, in stream? Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. So, the, um... Uh... Ba -ba -ba -bam. This guy. This was, uh, this is the Frog Mage from Forest Dragon, available on the website. Yes. Uh, what if, so, Antiv, what if the, hang on, what if the model has custom base like, hang on, everything keeps moving, like Commanding Firesight, would I still need to paint it? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. If anything, more so. Uh, what, what, hap what happens then if they paint in September but do the base in December? Th can they enter December? Um, I would say from now onwards, um, I don't, I don't, I've never cared when the model was started. You could have started that model 10 years ago. If you finished it in the month, the whole point is finishing models. I will say that uh, if you've already entered it into a raffle, and it was, like, not completely finished, then you can't enter it again. It's got to be a new model. 
Um, but everything has to be finished. So it's fully painted and fully based. If it's not fully based, it's not getting entered from now on. No worries, it's in the it's in the reptilian army set. So if you go to go to the website and it's gonna be fantasy, small scale fantasy, and then it's part of the reptilian army, this one here. So you can get the whole armor for 55, or in the drop-down menu, you can find the Archmage. It's called the Archmage. And there it is. Only way out of painting bases is using clear bases, yes. All mine was started years ago and finished this month. There, there we go. There we go. So yeah, that's the, that's the whole... Um, that's the uh, whole reptilian army. Oh, God, that was horrible. That's the whole reptilian army, and then you've got all the other armies there as well. Um, there are two more demon smith forces to go. Uh, and what's after that? I can't remember. No, there's, there's two more to be uploaded, and then there's one or two more coming. What's the house? Oh, here? 10 mil scenery. I've got 10 mil scenery now. Oh, actually, no. Haha. I can show you because I've got some printed. Here we go. Enters an empty base and calls it a stealth suit. Will not be countered. Very funny, but has already been done. Maybe post and pin rules. Yeah, I'm going to start. I think I'm going to start a new, a new, uh, like a raffle channel, and there will be rules. So these have just come in, uh, and they're a lot of fun. These are really, really nice. And I'm hoping to get some more. I need to clean them up a little bit. There you go. Problem solved. Um, and we'll get these painted. But they're really nice. And I've got some more terrain that I'm wanting to do as well. Oh, the tall, thin one? The tall, thin one is the Wizard's Tower. I don't think I can get it all on camera, but there you go. I can technically print them in 32mm as well, but they become... They, they take a lot of time to print to get the detail right. So, um, definitely need that one. That one is uh, 18, 18 quid on the on the store, and it comes in four four parts. Not this one, but the other two, the actual houses, they do have interior details. I don't uh, I don't have access because I've glued them because I want to actually do like a, a proper fill job here. Um, but the floors have got tiled floors, and like you can see the back of back of doors and back of windows, so they are designed to be you know you can take the top off. And there's another one here. There you go. This is the wizard's actual house, I think. It was a slight misprint on this. I think there's supposed to be a little bit more detailing there uh, that came off. But um, but it gives you the general idea. They're really, really nice models. Um, right, what's the time? Oh my god, it's nine minutes to four. Uh, have we got time to do more painting? I can do... A little bit more, I guess. Or do I call it there? I, I've got lots of work to do. i got lots of stuff to do. I, well, I was doing painting at some point. If my first diorama turns out okay, I can see them being my next one. <gasps> do it. Yes. Absolutely do it. Call it. I think I... Yeah, I've got lots of work to get done. I need to do some quotes. I need to pre-support a Patreon... For someone, uh, and apparently write a mech tank game. I'm gonna call it. I need. To, I need. I need to go and do work. Um, right. So, guys, gals, non-binary pals, thank you very, very much, as always, for coming and hanging out. Uh, I need to go. I do. I do. Sorry. Yes. I. What's time? I can go and do that now. I will go and do that first. Sorry, I completely forgot about that. Okay. Um, it's been sitting on my shelf and it keeps taunting, taunting me. Um, oh, I know who we're going to go and raid. Absolutely. Oh, you have the full monies? Oh, okay, cool. In, in which case, I'm definitely going to go and do that. Um, ba -da -ba -ba -da. so glad I managed to get in. Hey, Warhammer Mum. Yeah, thank you very much. It's been great to have you in chat as always, as always. Um, 
So, guys, gals, non-binary pals, thank you very, very much, as always, for coming and hanging out. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. We got the um, the heavy machine gun turret done. I oh, I also need to go and take a photo of this, although it's already on the website, so I might just do that tomorrow, maybe. Yes, I'll do that tomorrow because I'm going to be filming stuff anyway, so I can dump, I can I can do that. Um. Uh, thank you very much for all the uh, the bits, Ogre. The twenty gifted subs. Thank you very, very much. We are we're two away from hundred. Is that our goal as well? We're two away from our from our um, our sub goal. The sub goal was one fifty, but I thought that was too much of a stretch to try and hit that, so uh, I dropped it down to hundred. Um, but yeah, either way, thank you very, very much, my dude. That's very kind of you. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna be back on Friday. Uh, where we will be probably finishing up these two models and maybe doing something else as well. Uh, if you've enjoyed the stream, then please do consider supporting it. You can do that by either uh, subscribing or gifting a sub or donating or heading over to alchemistmodels.com to pick yourself up some new models. Uh, there are lots and lots of stuff on there and I always add new products on there uh, going forward. There's so much more to add on there. I'm really excited to start working on the D&D the models, like classic D&D models. Ogre, thank you very, very much. That's the, We've met the sub goal. Thank you. Uh, so no, no Street and uh, Kun Edan, or Edwan, uh, if you're in the chat, reach out very quickly and say thank you very, very much. Do you, uh, do you, want, do you want squats or rollouts before I go? Squats or rollouts, Ogre? It's up to you, buddy. Um, or would you like me to go and uh, squat? Fuck. I, I was going to try and get out of it now. Okay. Okay. All right. Squats. Very quickly. Ten squats. Here we go. Thank you very much for the two gifted subs, Ogre. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, we power through the speed squats. There we go. Thank you very much, Madhu. Um, and also, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please, please, please go over and uh, and drop a subscription over there. I've got, I've had my first tutorial out for just under a week now, um, and it's slowly gaining traction. It's a, it's essentially a very new channel, but all my vods, all the stream vods, will now be over there as well. Uh, I think they automatically get uploaded. Um, so, and I'll be doing another video. I'm going to be doing a Space Marine, Ultramarine tutorial video uh, tomorrow. And hopefully it'll get uploaded maybe tomorrow or Friday? Maybe Friday, I'm not sure. I mean, might be doing an MX-5 or a rotary engine. I thought you hated rotary engines. Don't, I, I can't afford a new car. And it's, it, it doesn't make sense for me to get an MXI. I'm not going to talk about MXI. Um, right, okay. We're going to go raid into Stibio Primaris. Stibio is a wonderful member of the community. Uh, and uh, deserves your love. So if you're not following them, make sure you do. They're also obsessed with Space Marine dry, uh, Dreadnoughts. Um, but until then, I will see you on Friday. Have a good afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are in the world. Uh, drop Stibio a follow, and I will see you soon. Adios all. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. 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 Optimist models. <laughs>